Hi, I'm JD Prepper. I'm the admin for our Facebook group, Prep Like a Pro. Today's the day after Christmas, and it's the day where I normally take all the turkey carcass remains and make soup out of them. And I'm going to show you how we do that. Uh, I usually do it in a five gallon pot like this and then strain it later on uh, to get what I can out of it and then can it up. So let's take a look at what's in the pot. Okay, so my five gallon pot here, I've already stripped all the meat off the turkey bones. I've added some soup. I've added some onions, uh, carrots. I've added celery and peppers to it. And it's cooking down pretty nice. So it's been on the stove now for a little over two hours. And I'm going to cook it for at least another four hours to take, get everything out of the bones that I can. But it smells wonderful. You practically want to lick the walls in this house right now. It smells so good. It's things like the, uh, the skin, all the fat on that comes off and flavors the soup. So I'm going to let this cook some more and we'll be back when we're getting close to canning it up. Okay, we're back. Uh, we've been cooking down the, the broth now for six hours. And it's pretty much ready. It's got a nice color to it. Uh, all the fats have come out of the meat, and we're ready to start putting it in jars. Uh, I've got the canning kettle sitting here warmed up. This has been on ah, for a few minutes. It's also very hot. Put the lid aside for a bit. And now we're going to take this, which is very heavy and bring it over here. Now because it's very heavy, it's very, very difficult to empty it. So what we're gonna do is, I've got a strainer here, and we're just gonna take and take out some broth at a time in a pot. I'll run it through the strainer into my three gallon pot. And then from here, we're going to be filling up jars. There's really nothing very difficult about doing all this. It just takes time. And when you're going to do a canning session, you pretty much have to dedicate the whole day to doing it. Like I said, this has been cooking for six hours. You don't have to stand over it every second. In fact, we went to town while it was on. Get a little bit more. Okay. That's about a gallon and a half. I'm going to return all this back to the pot and let it cook down some more. Put this back on the stove. And Now we're ready to start filling jars. I'm going to do uh, seven quart jars. These have been run through the dishwasher to sterilize them. Dishwasher does a fine job of cleaning them up. You do seven because that's what the canner holds.
So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put the uh, lid on and the ring. And then we'll come back after I've got the rest of the jars filled up because you'll be bored to tears by then if you stay in here and watch me doing this. I put all my, uh, my lids in a pan of hot water. And the first thing we've got to do is wipe down the lid. So, put that on there like that. This is now ready to go into the canner. I want to show you a hack that I discovered a while back. These canning rings are a pain in the neck. They bounce all over the place. They take up a lot of room. What do you do with them all? If you've been canning for a long time, you accumulate a lot of these. Well, I found a hack years ago. Don't worry about that. Uh, where I take a... 36 count Pepsi Cola can uh, carrier and put all my candy jar rings in there. Comes with a built in handle and stores right on the shelf very conveniently. So if you need a place to put all your canning rings, that's one way of doing it. Alright, we'll be back in a few minutes after I've got these jars all filled up. Okay, this is the last ring going on this one jar. And you just tighten them up finger tight. You don't try to wrench them down on there because it'll blow the jar apart in the pressure canner if you do. So now, you set the jars in the hot water in the pressure canner. You notice I'm using a jar lift to do, to do this because these jars are hot right now. That broth is not cool. And seven. Come on over here with the camera and take a look. You notice that the, uh, the jars are just about covered up. So now we put the pressure rim lid on. And it'll take a few minutes to build up some steam. And once the steam starts coming out the uh, pressure relief right here, we put the jiggler on, and then it's 75 minutes, sorry, it's 90 minutes because these are quartz, to take and process this turkey broth. So we'll be back when we're ready to open up the canner. Okay, we processed these seven quarts of turkey broth for 90 minutes. This is the last of them. And now we're going to load in, first we're going to put in some more water because when you do pressure canning, you use up water in the canner. So I'm going to add that. Then I'm going to add the jars and see how much room I've got left. I can pick these up, they're not that hot. And we're doing plant jars on this run. The quart jars are good for dinners. The pint jars are good for lunch and snacks. Ten pints. Now we'll turn this on, get this hot. This will start processing. We'll do this for 75 minutes. Now when I when I uh, finished loading up all the jars, I emptied out the um, colander of all the stuff that came out of the, uh, the cooker. And you can see there's a lot of bones here. All the big bones are going to get pulled out and all the little stuff is going to get fed out to the dog and there's going to be one very happy dog outside. So this will be processing for 75 minutes and we'll see you in a little while. 
Okay, we're back. This is the last of 10 pints that just came out of the pressure canner. So today we've got seven quarts and 10 pint jars for a total of 12 quarts worth of turkey broth. Pretty easy to do. It took uh, 11 hours altogether. However, it wasn't 11 hours standing at the stove. It was 11 hours doing this, that, and everything else, and occasionally coming back and checking on things. Uh, this is very easy to do. It makes good use of your leftover turkey. Dog is happy. I'm happy. We put this away for the winter time. You can use this with pasta or rice or anything else you want to take and blend in with it. Anyway, I'm JD Prepper. I'm the admin for Prep Like a Pro on Facebook. Please come and visit our site. And thanks for watching.